guys, this is Taylor and I'm here today with a new segment that I am calling Library Talk. I want this to just be a space where I could talk about what's going on at the library, little anecdotes, maybe what's caught my eye, just really super casual. So today I wanted to start with a story of something that happened just last week. The library I work in has always had kind of a tepid relationship with dogs. Our unofficial policy used to be that as long as you were holding your dog and it was a really quiet, chill dog and you know you weren't going to be in the library for an extended amount of time, then who really cares, right? But then someone pointed out that because we're a public library, if anyone from the town ever came in and saw a dog, we could probably get in trouble. So we had to enact a no dog policy, which has been in place for about a year now. But last week I was up at circulation and the way our library is set up is that there's the entrance, the circulation desk, and the exit. So basically if you want to just come in and drop a book off to return, you can just do a little circle like that. So I see a guy come in and I immediately do a double take because first of all he's wearing roller skates and second of all he has his dog slung over his shoulder and this is not a lap dog either this is probably a 50 60 pound dog just slung over his shoulder really happy to be there really chill and this guy does not even pause he doesn't say anything he just skates right along drops off a book on the desk and skates right out and everybody at circulation just had this moment and then we burst into laughter. It was hysterical. And then we all had this discussion on whether or not it was a collective hallucination. But yeah, that's what happened last week. The other library thing I wanted to talk about was Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Big, huge releases are always really interesting from a library standpoint. We are already fielding inquiries about when is it going to be available? How many copies are you ordering? Can I put a hold on it? now in March. I really get the sense working in the library that people in general are not really treating this as a companion book like Fantastic Beasts or something like that. They're really treating it as book eight and that's really exciting. It's it's gonna be crazy when that book comes out. Lastly I would like to chat about some books that I saw at the library and I'm thinking of either buying for myself or checking out soon. So usually what I do when I come across a book that I'm interested in is I usually just take a picture of it and then I can, you know, do some later research. The first two I'm probably the most excited about, to be perfectly honest. I was aware that Meg Cabot put out an adult fiction book in the Princess Diaries series, which I thought was awesome but I wasn't really planning on rushing out to read it. What I did not know was that she was also putting out an adult fiction book in the Mediator series. Oh my god. The Mediator series was the series of her that I just devoured as a tween, I guess. I am amped for this and to be honest it's making me more excited to pick up the Princess Diaries one too. So if I'm being real, I would like to check out these two as soon as possible. The other book I'm thinking of checking out as opposed to buying is Mr. Splitfoot by Samantha Hunt. I was initially really intrigued by this but then I heard some really mixed things so that's why I'm thinking of checking it out as opposed to making that investment for myself. Oh yeah, I also saw um, this memoir called Your Voice in My Head by uh, Emma Forrest. And this is, uh, I believe it, I believe this came out in 2011 or something like that. And this is a nonfiction memoir about a woman who is dealing with some past traumas and starts going to a therapist and they start to make a lot of progress and she becomes very attached to this therapist and she thinks she's doing really well and then the therapist suddenly dies. There is something about memoirs that place a focus on the process of healing and the setbacks and the nuance that just really appeal to me. I honestly love realistic books about the healing process because I think the more realistic they are, the more they can help people, myself included. And the last book I was thinking about adding to my wish list is uh, I Am Sorry to Think I Have Raised a Timid Son by Kent Russell. I believe this is a book of essays about 
expectations of masculinity and you know, gender roles, gender-based expectations from a male perspective. This is also something that kind of fascinates me and that I think there should be more nonfiction about. So I'm really uh, intrigued by this and I think I'm going to add it to my wish list. So that's it for today, kind of short and sweet. I certainly do not know everything there is to know about working in a library, not even most things. But if there's anything that you would like to see me address in this series, any questions that you think I could answer, then definitely let me know. I would love to make this as evolving a segment as possible. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today, and I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you very soon. Bye!